So on the website, and you can see the, the web address, uh, that you can, you can uh, download each one of those listed forms is a, is a link. You can download the applicable form. You only need to download one form, uh, and it will contain all the relevant sections for the grades of membership and registration you're applying for. So if you are interested in member only, then it's the left-hand column, the MF1. Uh, if you're interested in applying to be a fellow only, and you can do that direct, you don't need to become a member first, then it's the fellow application. If you're already a professional member and just want to upgrade to the fellow grade, then it's the, it's the MF3 form that you can see in that left-hand column. Middle column is, is uh, for the combination of membership and registration, and you can see there the various combinations. Each form will contain the, um, the information about you, so the information about your education, your background, uh, any existing professional calls and registrations, that sort of thing. But then it'll have the section for the Newbury Delta and also the section for the applicable registration standards. So if you were interested in um, Chartered Environmentalist, it would be the form MF105. It would be essentially the same form through until you get to the registration standards where it would then differ from the, the earlier forms. So that, that just gives you a flavor. And, and again, back to the point, if, you, if you're already a professional member or you decide to, to become a professional member first and then add the professional registration, then there are forms at that point, which means you don't have to go back through the, the loop of demonstrating how you meet the nuclear delta, that you, again, that sort of thing. It's just how you then address the registration standards. So getting the right form is the first step and they're all, all available. They were revised late last year so if you've got if you've downloaded an older form i'd advise you go back and and and, and get the current version it, it, it removes quite a lot of duplication the other thing is to gather appropriate information and guidance and there's a lot of information and guidance out there uh left hand side of the screen as you look at it um you can access the nuclear delta the four page copy of the standard itself, but also a short evidence guide that discusses what might be appropriate types of evidence. Um, that whole issue of, are you in a technical or non-technical role, that area. But then there's two other documents we'd recommend you, you have a look at. Um, there's a continuing professional development page, and on that page you can access the NICPD policy, um, but also a CPD guidance note. And CPD, you, we'll come back to again in a moment, uh, but it's very important and is becoming increasingly important to both achieving your professional uh, membership and registration, particularly registration, um, but also to retaining that going forward. So it's good when you're thinking about your applications to be thinking about that CPD stage early on. And how are you, how are you going to demonstrate that and how are you going to continue to demonstrate that? And then the final document is the is the code of conduct that you can you can um, you can see there, which is in line with every professional body. We have a code of conduct. It's worth noting that both our CPD and our um, code of conduct align with and meet the requirements of, of all three of our licensing bodies, so the Engineering Council, the Science Council, and the Society for the Environment. So by complying with our um, our code of conduct and our CPD policy, you will also be um in line for complying with the, the the license body requirements for registration and then over on the right hand side i've included uh three examples of the registration standards that are available they're, 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 they're downloadable you can you can uh, also access a lot of related guidance around them uh for example on the science council website they they, they include um, quite a few um, little uh, guides to collecting and presenting your evidence, uh, little walkthrough videos, that sort of thing. The other um, licensing bodies include similar um, sort of guidance on um, what's required, uh, how to how to how to go about approaching your evidence, that sort of thing. So, so definitely worth um, looking at both the NI and the applicable registration uh, body. Site if you if you are looking at professional registration as well.